The other component that uh, I did have a tripod up here. It worked okay, but um, we still want to get something that's pretty stable. And what I have is um, I had a, a grinding wheel. And what this grinding wheel had was uh, three mounts and then this one piece here and then it screwed in or bolted in made it level here. Now, as I was trying to think of how to take and, and get this uh, set up, I ended up going and getting three um, eye hooks and that allowed me to mount the base down and still you've got some, some swerving going on there. Uh, but one of the things that's really good about this is that's going to help you get that level. Now, to solve that, one of the things that I ended up doing was um, purchasing these turnbuckles. And turnbuckles, bu and I'm not really called, I'm sure what these are called, these are kind of a U, a U piece that allows you to open them up and then clamp on. Just from all the way. Allows you then to clamp onto that eye hook. Um, these are a little bit more expensive. The turnbuckles, and these are fairly large turnbuckles as I get my ruler out here and measure them. Um, I don't know sure how they measure them, but this will go out to 11 inches. This will probably be a 14 inch uh, turnbuckle. And I'm going in here and putting all of these these on. Okay. Now the most difficult part was how do I go about mounting them on this unit here? And I want it to be fairly consistent on, on how, how they were aligned. And as you can see probably here, this is a, an eye hook. And then these two here and on this other side is actually almost a J. And what I've done is on the top, I've drilled a hole in, mounted it on the back here. This one here goes in the center, mounted it on the back, and I've just bolt. And what this um, tubing is, you'll have to look at your own tubing, uh, but that's about a three inch tube. And then on the other side, turn this around, instead of screw and putting a hole in here, I put it down so that these J's are actually, they're aligned, but as you can see as I, I move this around, that's kind of interesting, uh, as I move this around where these, these nuts are actually ending up at. And they're not, they're not consistent, but it allows that whole unit to, to be um, pretty much uh, pretty solid. And so from here, I just open this other end. these at like a, 
a tractor store or someplace like that. And there's a bearing that seats in the top of this, and then there's this housing. And this housing just so happens to be, um, this is a, a three and a half inch square. And what I've ended up doing is I put that bearing in, and I've actually done it twice, so there's two of them here. Okay, as you can see, here's the, the bearing, the housing, and there's these little kind of struts here, and you can kind of see them in the back. All I did was take um, one of the little small pieces that, that you would see um, on a U-bolt. You can actually buy those for um, a few cents. Um, well, I think they're probably 20 or 30 cents. But then I took it and, and then bent it. And you really just kind of have to measure them and bend them all at the same, same angle. Uh, my bolts here, as you can tell, are a little long. I could probably cut those down. Um, but what you're going to end up doing is you're going to put two of those together. Now, the reason for that, um, which I didn't realize this was the very first time I did this, um, if you take and just have one of these, uh, even though you've seated this bearing in there, you've really got to kind of move it and, and kind of beat it into place. But it still has the ability to move if there's a, a, if there's a lot of weight um, on this thing. If there's a lot of weight, um, it could shift, it could move. But by putting two together, uh, it's going to actually keep it, keep it really straight. Now, look down here at the bottom. What I was trying to do, I needed to get some room in here so I could put the nut on um, once I slid this down in. But, uh, so what I then ended up having to do was kind of take some larger um, pieces and I bent one of the corners. And as you can see, some of them are bent in, some of them are bent out. It's really just the way that I kind of configured um, this to, to, to get it in there. Uh, you can see that there's some washers here. I still, I've really not gone in and kind of cleaned this up because I really will at one point. But uh, that's how I got this unit on. Drill some holes down in here. And once you drill those holes in, I would set the metal plates on and then bolt down your top. You can bolt these two, two together. But then that right there provides you all the stability that you're going to need. Um, for putting that, that unit together. And the whole unit is going to be really, really firm at that point, so you're not going to have any movement.